good morning class. It is week, uh, hmm. It is week number, week number, uh, uh, what week is this? The truth is, I don't even know anymore. I seem to have lost count. Have you ever lost track of something? Have you ever lost something and then later you find it? How does that feel? Pretty good, right? And today's story in the magnificent Bible blanket fort has to do with losing and finding. Hmm, how could we do this? Oh wait, same way we always do. Come on, come on. Like a helicopter. You float above me. And then we'll go inside. Oh, oh, so dark. Now, let me see. Where is that? Oh, that's not the light switch. This is the remote. This is DNN, the Donkey News Network. I'm your host, Patches McKeehaw, with the latest. Our top story this hour, a lost sheep. A nearby sheepfold has a large flock that goes in and out to find pasture. But earlier today, someone got lost. Our foreign correspondent, Nibbler Woolikins, has more from the pasture. Nibbler? Nibbler. Yes, Patches, I'm standing in a pasture where many sheep often come to graze and enjoy the great outdoors. However, today in this pasture, something extraordinary happened. One of the sheep in the flock went missing and got lost. That's very concerning, Nibbler. What did the shepherd say about this? Well, that is the amazing part of this story, Patches. In the past, sheep have become lost from time to time. And the shepherds would sometimes go to look for them, and sometimes they wouldn't. And sometimes they would find the sheep, and sometimes they wouldn't. And so there were times when a sheep would get lost, and the rest of the flock would just move along without them. What would happen to that lost sheep? <laughs> or sometimes they would run away and join the circus. There are rumors that the shepherd now is a different kind of shepherd. Exactly, Patches. The good shepherd is now looking after the flock in question today. And he knows all of the sheep by name. So this morning, when Cotton Ball Fluffy Bottom went missing, he left the 99 sheep and went calling and calling for him until he found him. Cotton Ball must have been very precious to the Good Shepherd. That's what's so incredible. This Good Shepherd even said that he will lay down his life for the sheep. I thought the best way to learn about the experience of being a lost sheep was to get an interview with Cotton Ball Fluffy Bottom himself. Hello, Cotton Ball. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. It's good to see you safe back at home. Could you tell us what happened earlier today? Well, this morning, everybody in the flock was out in the pasture, just like usual. Right. When I found these buttercups. Mm, I love buttercups. And I must have eaten about a hundred of them. So when I was done, I was tired. So I just laid down in the sun. But when I woke up, nobody was there. Pfft, I guess they just didn't notice that I wasn't with them. They left me behind. Then what did you do? First, I looked all around, but nobody came. Hmm, so I decided to go down the stream. I must have walked a long way and I didn't see any other sheep or I didn't certainly see the shepherd. Hmm. So I sat down by the stream 
and I got really nervous because there's wolves out there. It's dangerous. A very frightening situation, to be sure. How long were you there? Hmm, hard to say. It felt like a long time. But then, guess what? A miracle happened. I heard the Good Shepherd call my name. Cotton ball. Cotton ball. <laughs> and I knew he had come for me. He came to find me. And he came running over the hill and he saw me. I was so relieved. Did he say anything to you? He told me he was so glad to see me. And I even saw a tear <laughs> down his cheek. Yeah, and he was laughing and he was smiling. Right. And he told me how happy he was that he found me. And he carried me back to the other sheep. You must have felt very grateful. It was a true rescue story. I never felt so relieved in my whole life. He really is a good shepherd. As a matter of fact, he's the best shepherd ever. Do you have any plans going forward? Well, I'm going to be very careful about eating buttercups in the sunshine from now on. And the Good Shepherd and the rest of the flock are going to have a huge party for me tonight for my return. Sounds terrific. Thank you very much for speaking with us today, Cotton Ball. My pleasure. That was Cotton Ball Fluffy Bottom, the lost sheep who was found by the Good Shepherd earlier today. I'm glad everyone's okay. Being lost can be quite dangerous. What's the mood in the pasture now? All the sheep in the pasture are feeling very happy. As you heard, there's going to be a big party later tonight. So the sheep in the pasture are combing their wool and they're saying, ah, 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 right now, uh, even I'm doing it. Because I'm going to go to the party later too. Ah, 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 ah. Well, thank you very much, Nibbler. That was Nibbler Woolikins, our foreign correspondent, reporting from the pasture. Next up, tin cans. Goats have been eating them for years. Now, top donkey scientists suggest sometimes there's carrots inside. Well, did you see that? That is some high level professional reporting right there. That story of the lost sheep, do you know what that is? That's another one of those example stories that I told you about before. It's called a parable. And so parable means it's kind of not really about a shepherd and a sheep and all of those things. It's actually explaining something much bigger than that. So I'm going to ask you who do you think the shepherd is? And who are the sheep? You probably already know from going to church that Jesus is known as the Good Shepherd. The great big heavy Bible says uh, Jesus was talking about being a good shepherd, how he is the Good Shepherd meaning he looks after us like a very good shepherd would look after his sheep. He even says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Doesn't that sound familiar? Like Easter? Isn't it nice to know that Jesus will drop everything to come and find you? Isn't that amazing? That is amazing to me. The creator of the universe is like, well, hold up. I don't know where this person is. Let me go find him. And he compares it to losing a sheep. And then when they find you, he has a huge party. Isn't that amazing to think that heaven rejoices over you? It's true. I think that's the most marvelous thing to think about. So be at peace because the good shepherd is looking for you and He's super happy when he finds you. This week in the letter to your parents, which I totally forgot to send last week because apparently I'm a big dummy. 
<laughs> Let bygones be bygones. So this week, I have some sheeply exercises for you to try this week if you are looking for something fun to do about shepherds and sheep. In the meantime, you could, in theory, play good shepherd and lost sheep. You pick someone to be the lost sheep, somebody else is the shepherd. And sheep, you go hide somewhere in your house. Shepherd, don't peek and see if you can go find them. Doesn't it feel good when you find that lost sheep? I hope that you can join me next week. I know what date is next week, actually. Mother's Day. So until then, stay well and be blessed.